Like if yes. we kick mm -hmm. off that uh, chips for kids, what do you think? Martina? I think it's going to start cooling down. We're going to start feeling a slight difference as we get into tomorrow and then cooler and cooler as the days go. Just in okay. time for the holidays. Yeah. <laughs> Just in time for the holidays. And then by the end of next week, it'll be a completely different season. Of so, yeah. <laughs> It's hard to keep up around here, I tell you. You're looking live at LAX. It looks good. We've got a mainly clear sky and a cool night. Of course, our afternoons have been pretty warm, and our nighttime temperatures have been on the cool side. That is about to change, folks. All right, as we take a look at the temperature there at LAX, it's 61 degrees. Normal high in that area today would be right around 69. Winds there are out of the west southwest at 9. And USC current temperature 60 degrees, and the winds there are nice and calm. And they are exactly where they were temperature wise at this time yesterday. As we take a look at more of the temperatures again, uh, looking at lots of 50s and 60s, Oxnard at 54 degrees. Good evening to the folks in Camarillo. You are at 55. We're looking at 62 in the valley there in Van Nuys, Riverside. Current temperature 61 degrees. So as we talk about what we are going to do for lows tonight, not bad. Low 50s for the folks in Claremont. Riverside will bottom out in the low 50s as well. 51 will be the low for the folks there in Fullerton. Upper 40s for the folks in San Marino. Simi Valley looking at 48 degrees tonight. But again, I'm talking about that change, and this is what's going to happen. An area of high pressure that's really been the reason for the toasty temperatures will move out, and this area of low pressure is what we'll be monitoring because that will move in and that will cool things down slowly but surely. So it'll be a gradual cool down. By the time we get to Sunday, temperatures will easily be right about average. But then as we get toward next work week, we are talking about big time warm up. In temperatures. I mean, you'll feel the difference and you can see it here really as we take a look at the beaches tomorrow. For instance, you're looking at 71 degrees for a high. Notice the clouds start to increase slightly for some folks as well. By the time we get to the end of the weekend, you're in the upper 60s, but then by the middle of next week, say you're looking at 75 degrees. LA and Orange County tomorrow looking at a mainly sunny sky. 73, 74 as we get into Sunday, doing upper 60s for Sunday, but then by the middle of the next week, we're doing 70s and we're just going up and up and up. Valley, 79 degrees for you tomorrow under a mainly sunny sky. But by the time you head toward the next work week, you're looking at 73 degrees and your temperatures go up by the end of the week as well. Inland Empire, 79 degrees for you tomorrow. Folks in the high desert, lots of sunshine in your forecast. Also windy as well. But look at this. By Monday, you cool down into the upper 50s and then you are back up into the upper 60s, lower 70s by the time we get into Wednesday. And Thursday. Also, the mountains looking at lots of sunshine here. 60s is what you're going to see as we get into tomorrow. But by Sunday, you're looking at highs in the upper 50s. Now it's time for this week's shameless weekend weather plug. My name is Yolanda Pena. And I'm Jesse Tapia. We're here in downtown Oxnard at the Plaza Park. We are hosting the 10th annual Tamale Festival on Saturday, December the 2nd at 9 a.m. to 6:30. Come join us for some mouth-watering tamales, arts and crafts, kids area, great music, and fun for all. By the way, what is the weather going to be in Oxnard? Glad you asked. The weather's going to be great. We are looking at lots of sunshine, and we are talking about temperatures that are going to be arguably perfect just in time for the tamale festival. Look at this. We're talking about lots of sunshine, 67 degrees, and that again is going to be this Saturday, December 2nd. I hear not only are they going to have tamales, but also tacos and Hawaiian fruits. Go out and enjoy. That's a look at what we're doing for the tamale festival for now, guys. Back to you.